we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright Hey, welcome to Sippy Cup Adventures, I'm Darren I'm Patty And we're a travel channel about Northern California and we're out here at Folsom Lake. So we got a chance to visit this venue at Folsom Lake. Now, we're not gonna tell you where it is exactly right now. That's for later in the video. So you watch later into the video. Yeah, so we follow them on Instagram. I do anything hashtag Folsom Lake. I'm following. So they were nice enough to allow us to come up and tour the venue. They're relatively new, thanks to Johnny for allowing us to uh, see the venue. So so let's take a look and let's start off with where this is located. From downtown Sacramento, for reference, we will be headed to Folsom Lake, about a 40 minute drive from downtown Sacramento. Now here is Folsom Lake taking on the shape of a human heart with the North Fork of the American River and the South Fork of the American River seen here. And where we are headed is actually about an hour and 15 minutes away from Sacramento. We're going to cover the drive from Interstate 80 to Highway 49 or the Golden Chain Highway to Rattlesnake Bar Road to the Dirt Road turnoff and then on to the venue. Coming off of Interstate 80, enjoy the scenery of the American River confluence where the North Fork of the American River meets the Middle Fork of the American River. But for the driver, you need to keep your eye on the road. From Interstate 80 to the bridge, it's a two and a half mile windy drive. We're gonna fast forward here as we will in most of the video when we're driving. So just take note, do not drive fast or you will be in the river. Past the bridge, the drive remains a bit squirrely, but eventually it flattens out and you're going to approach the town of Cool, Cool, California. Now we turn our attention to the Rattlesnake Bar Road portion of the drive. From Cool, you'll travel three and a half miles to Rattlesnake Bar Road. The only time I actually heard of Rattlesnake was at Rattlesnake Bar at Folsom Lake. Go figure. Two miles into the drive on Rattlesnake Bar, you're going to come to a fork in the road. You will see this sign that says Campground, 7.9 miles, which is in reference to the Peninsula Campground at Folsom Lake, but not exactly where we are going. The drive on Rattlesnake Bar will be 7.9 miles. Later in the drive on Rattlesnake Bar Road, the road will narrow and you will know when. You have to absolutely pay attention and when you're taking the curves, slow down. At this point, the road is wide enough, but this dude decided to cut the corner a bit. But up the hill just a bit, you'll see that at this point we needed to pull over. Fortunately, we had a place to pull over as these three cars came down the hill. At this point on Rattlesnake Bar Road, I don't believe there's typically a lot of traffic, but again, the Peninsula Campground is near, and my assumption is that these cars were coming from the Peninsula Campground. As you 
follow your navigation and the venue will give you coordinates. You will approach the dirt road turnoff. This is the street sign you'll be looking for. So you're going to be coming from this direction. So this is the landscape you'll be looking for. So now let's take a look at the next leg of the drive, Montauk Vista Road. It's a two mile drive. The road starts off with rocks as ground cover. The rocks will be at the beginning of the drive and at the end of the drive. Most of the drive is on dirt and it's flat and provides some incredibly scenic views. It had rained the day before, but there was only a couple of puddles. You do not need a high clearance vehicle to navigate this drive, so you can feel comfortable driving whatever car you have. Once you come upon the rocks again, you know you're getting closer. And even closer when you start seeing the yellow promotional banners. At last, we meet our host, Johnny. And it's time for the reveal. We are at the Montauk, California Resort here at Folsom Lake. Back in 1886, gold was discovered here by a German immigrant, Jacob Zantgraf. And in 1898, the Montauk Gold Mining Company purchased the land. That's a bit of the history. So we enjoyed a little tour from Johnny of these upscale glamping tents and the grounds themselves. You come up here and you get unplugged. Well, you can get cell service, but there's no electricity. Wait, what? No electricity? How do I turn on the lights and plug in our devices? We will explain later. At the time of this video, late May of 2023, Montauk has two bookable glamping sites. One single tent with a queen bed and one double tent site with queen beds. We'll explain that in a little bit. A third tent site will come online after they place all their travel trailers. Travel trailers, you say? So the Montauk California Resort has recently displaced 12 travel trailers and four of them should be open by June 1st of 2023 with plans to place 28 more trailers on the property. Yeah, 28 more. So yeah, once the travel trailers are in place, then there will be plans to put up more glamping tents. Now this is that two tent site that Montauk reserves as one spot. So this is reserved for families or couples who are friends, I assume so. So both parties are familiar with each other and sharing the one bathroom and the outdoor shower. What you doing? 
<laughs> no, that's actually really cool. This, you know what it reminds me of? This Penny's outdoor shower. Penny's? Penny breakfast. Now, before we give our final thoughts of our tour in on Montauk California Resort, let's get to the main reason we, we came, Patty and I. Yes, we wanted to see the grounds, we wanted to see the glamping tents, but what is most important to Patty and I is the water access. We spend many days enjoying Folsom Lake, and we have always explored stays at Folsom Lake where we can enjoy a night or two stay and then enjoy the water. I mean, if you want to stay the night at Folsom Lake, you have to camp. They have Beals Point and the Peninsula Campground, and we don't camp. There are maybe a few home rentals, but there are not many options. So how far is the water from the glamping tents? Well, here's a bit of a drive, obviously, sped up. Drive to the water. You can walk, yes, but if you have a bunch of beach gear and ice chests and whatnot, it'd, it'd be a challenge. And the walk up could be difficult, especially if you're out of shape like us. If you're in shape, yeah, take a nice leisurely walk. Now you can see where we drove down from. And here's one of the tents for some perspective right there. Now for 2023, the stay is going to be really nice because it's even going to be easier to get down the water because the lake is so full because of all the rain we've had this year for the majority of the summer. In dry years, well, it's going to be a longer walk or drive down to the water, but it's absolutely beautiful down there. Now the folks at Montauk explained that their glamping tents are powered by Jackery battery packs in their tents with solar panels charging during the day. Now these battery packs do well with providing the tent with lighting and fans or electric blankets during the winter as well as charging devices. Now for the trailers, batteries and propane will power the lights, the shower, the refrigerator, and flushing the toilet. But all the batteries and propane will not power the air conditioning in a trailer. This will be an issue that the folks at Montauk are going to have to engineer for. During the throes of summer heat, I imagine these trailers are going to be warm. Yes, you can certainly spend your time down by the water to keep cool, and most of these trailers will be under a canopy of tr trees that will provide some shade. Now when there is the delta breeze in the evenings, a breeze that the Sacramento area residents hope for in the summer evenings to cool things down, and where Montauk is located, they will be a recipient of this delta breeze, but the delta breeze is not a certainty. This region can experience heat waves where it just doesn't cool down in the evenings. Here are our initial thoughts on Montauk. Again, we haven't stayed the night here at Montauk. We know that it would be very peaceful. It will be private. The scenery is incredible. The tents will be comfortable. And getting down to the lake would be the ticket for Patty and I of spending a quiet day along the shoreline. Except for the few areas on Rattlesnake Bar Road that we previously mentioned where the road narrows, the drive is fine. You are going to need to bring all of your own food because once you're at Montauk, you're not going to really want to drive to a store, and the closest store would be a little market in the town of Cool. you're just going to want to stay put. My only real concern would be the heat. How hot will it get inside the tents or the trailers? More so the trailers without air conditioning. The folks at Montauk said they don't want the trailers running on generators. So, you know, without electricity, the use of generators would cool down the trailers, you know, by use of electricity, but not significantly so, because RVs don't get that much cooler than it is outside. Maybe only 10 to 15 degrees cooler will the RV be inside than the actual temperature outside. So I sort of see their point in that generators may not keep the trailers cool enough anyways, and they would be noisy. So thanks for watching Sippy Cup Adventures of Northern California. All of the links to the Montauk California Resort are listed in the description below. Reach out to them, give them a holler, and we appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Found what we're looking for in life. Crazy, but things are finally right